You may think the proportion of male and female dogs is 50-50, which is valid at birth, but the survival rate of male is higher than females in North America. The gender disproportion is mainly caused by higher rates of morality of females while nesting and raising offsprings. In spring, male dogs become very aggressive, trying to protect their breeding territory from anyone who comes close. Their territorial behavior allows the female to feed herself and rest, much needed for laying eggs and incubating. The nesting period can be stressful for a female duck for laying more than half her body weight in eggs. It's scary to imagine delivering a baby half of my weight. I would be completely torn. Here, the male on the right is pushing off the pair of ducks. For some reason, the bystander on the left got so furious chasing the attacking male duck. The other reason for a male's offensive behavior is to prevent his mate from breeding with other males. Ducks usually form pairs in the fall, stay with the mates throughout the winter, and breed in the spring. Although monogamy is the primary mating system in the duck society, forcible copulations with others could still happen. Males will attempt to violently mate with other females to increase the chances of passing on their genes. Head pumping is a courtship display where males and females rhythmically move their heads up and down followed by mating. The male climbs onto the female, keeping his balance by gripping her neck with his beak. Poor females, some of them go bald on the back of their necks as a result. Here, the male on the right attempts to mate with the paired female by force. After the male displayed his courtship with which the female didn't comply, he tried to get onto her back, even her mate was present. Because of the gender disproportion, a group of drakes end up left out. Such a group of males would chase and attack a separated female duck until she exhausts. When weakened, the males take turn copulating with the female, which could lead her to die. Forced mating could be controversial, yet it consists of 20% of the mating activities in duck societies. As self-defense, however, the anatomical features of females have also evolved, making it difficult to fertilize eggs by forced mating by other males. Bear in mind, let's refrain from blindly applying our morality to wildlife. Even it's hard to chew on from our perspective. Mala is a type of shallow water duck that feeds primarily along the water surface. They dip their heads in the water and feed on aquatic plants, vegetation, small fish, worms, and insects. Tipping up is a unique feeding style where a duck is upside down with the butt out of the water and pointing the tail straight up. Mallard ducks nibble through mud or algae by keeping that head and neck below the water. Surface feeding is a broadly adapted feeding style among duck species, where they skim along the water surface with the bill quickly nibbling the water. It's a productive way of eating small insects on the water surface and look for algae and plants floating in the water. As you can see, the evidence is hanging out from his beak. Despite millions of mallards shot by hunters, in North America, there is little effect on their numbers, surprisingly. With the high number of ducks, any predators would see the defenseless eggs, newborns, 
and the females protecting them are their perfect prey. In fact, they are targeted by a wide range of predators, from mid-sized mammals and birds to reptiles and even fish. Foxes, raccoons, skunks, crows, magpies, seagulls, weasels, ground squirrels, snakes, frogs, and northern pikes, to name a few. Pretty much any carnivores are their threats. Keep in mind that too much bread can lead ducks to malnutrition that could cause their bones to twist during growth and inhibit flight. Feed them with lettuce, corn, peas, bird seeds, grains, or fruits, including small pieces of banana or apple if you desire to look after them. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.